for those of you overseas who don't know what this is all about, Australia's been transfixed over the last week or so by our great ball tampering scandal. Our national cricket team was caught out trying to rough the ball, which allows for greater spin and more chance of opposition players getting out. It's been a huge drama with young men's careers being derailed and rightful anger over the slur on the gentleman's sport. But what was really funny was our television sets were absolutely fixated on men's crotches, men with their hands rummaging deep in their pockets, men playing with balls. And I was talking to my producer, Scott Corbett, about all of this, and we had an inspiration. This month, April, is Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. And I was already planning to make a video telling people we need to get serious about this important issue. How wonderful to turn this overblown sporting scandal into a means of encouraging men to tamper with their balls and save young men's lives. Testicular cancer is rare, but can be a very aggressive cancer, particularly affecting young men. The cancer has a very good survival rate, but far too many young men are dying because they won't check themselves or go to doctors if they notice something different about their balls. How shocking that this rare disease ends up the second most common cancer killing men under 40 in Australia, simply because we do such a lousy job getting men to look after themselves. In many countries, it's actually the most common cancer killer for this age group. Like breast cancer, the best way for men to protect themselves is firstly through self-examination. Here's my favourite, it's a pretty old ad, encouraging men to do just that. Rianne touches herself. You got the mob by the balls, cause them waterfalls, stone walls, bar brawls, doll, you make them feel so small. And they love it! Now, do you want to see me touch myself? You're gonna like this. Actually, this might be easier. Okay, fellas, get your finger in your thumb and check around your balls. Not too hard, mind. Your balls should feel smooth without any lumps. If you come across a lump or a swelling, you need to get yourself to the doctors as soon as possible. The sooner it's sorted, the better. Now let me see you touch yours. Isn't that a hoot? Yeah, I know it's pretty confronting, but given how reticent men are to talk about this stuff, I think it's actually good to shock people a little. Oldies like me will remember the time when women's examining their breasts was considered shocking, but breast cancer groups have done a terrific job convincing everybody that this is just a normal procedure, part of women looking after their own bodies. We have a big job ahead to teach men and boys that ball tampering is normal. In fact, it should be a regular routine. I'm pleased to see that Movember is coming on board. They've made a pledge to try to halve the number of men dying from testicular cancer by 2030. They've produced some very good material to help men with self-examination. This video from the Testicular Cancer Foundation shows what's involved perhaps a little bit more clearly. The easiest form of preventative care that you can do yourself is performing a short 60-second self-exam in the shower. Here's how you do it. Check one testicle at a time. Hold the testicle between the thumbs and the fingers of both hands and roll it gently between your fingers. If you notice any hard lumps, smooth bumps, changes in size, shape, or consistency, don't play games with your health. Make an appointment with a family practitioner or urologist. It's just so tragic hearing the stories of young men who've ignored the symptoms and only seek medical help when it's too late. There was a young Australian football player, Dylan Tombides, who died at age 20 after ignoring a lump he'd discovered three years earlier. His glittering football career culminated in one appearance for West Ham United before he succumbed to this aggressive disease. This is a cancer that's on the increase. 
rates of testicular cancer have doubled over the last 50 years, yet it's so rarely talked about. We need to get the message out. This is a very treatable form of cancer, provided we get in early. I'm going to put up some links with detailed information about the disease and the treatments. Young men need to know that early, with early detection, you usually get a permanent cure with no impact on their sex lives. We all need to step up and start talking to young men about this cancer. And dads, that means you too. Back in my early sex therapy career, I talked to so many people who told me that their mums had done this terrific job talking to them about sex when they were growing up. But it was really rare that anyone mentioned a dad who'd been comfortable doing this. If men won't talk to their sons about sex, it sends a message to these young men that real men can't be open about these these sorts of things. And it's that embarrassment that puts young men's lives at risk. It's not that hard. I mean, if you if you have sons and you're sitting with them watching TV and something comes up about breast cancer or self-examination of women, uh, it's a perfect opportunity to raise the point that boys should be examining themselves too. And of course, women could talk to young men too. Mums could do that. And also, it's a really good idea for partners of young men to get up and close and personal with this part of your man's body, handling it regularly so that you too can pick up possible changes. He certainly won't complain about that. Perhaps you've seen the game of balls where two, two advertising agencies combined with an adult film studio, and they produce this really sexy video demonstrating just how to do that. I'm linking to the censored version on the Blue Balls Foundation website. Take your scrotum and put it in the palm of your hand and with your fingers and thumb, gently feel your testicles. Does one feel heavier than the other or is it slightly bigger? Do you feel any hard bumps or small lumps? If you answered yes to any of these questions, don't panic but please go see your doctor. This could be your chance to catch testicular cancer early. So, okay, everybody, get with the message and start tampering with those balls at least once a month.